No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency called Brandpreneur here in the Netherlands. And I also have my own coaching business called Lifestyle Design, where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to get your first client, how to build up an agency, scale it, and then be able to live that laptop lifestyle, which you might actually already be living, whether you like it or not. Because now obviously with everything that is going on with COVID-19 and the spread of the virus, etc a lot of people are now forced to work from home which is you know quite a unproductive time for those that aren't actually used to it so i thought i'll dedicate this video to showing you guys how i work from home and basically how i run my agency from my own home and how i try and be as productive as possible so like i said i work from home i work from my laptop but also my computer and for that i have my own dedicated workspace which is my very very first tip if you are working from home make sure you have a dedicated workspace and a space that is just for working only now if i flip my screen over here as you can see i am now in my bedroom because my home office is actually in my bedroom and as you can see uh, there by my bed is also my desk where i get all of the heavy lifting done so if we move over and around the bed as you can see this is uh, my workspace. This is where I work when I'm working from home. And for those of you that are in, like, in the coaching program, you will recognize the background from the live coaching sessions. But anyway, as you can see, the desk is very, very clean. And no, it does not always look like this, but 80% of the time it will because I try and keep it as clean as possible. I do not eat by this desk. I try and drink as minimal as possible, literally water or coffee. So like no uh, like soda, no uh, Red Bulls, no Coke, no anything like that. I try and keep it as professional looking as possible. Obviously, because I'm also talking to potential clients and you know current clients uh, for my agency, and that's also the reason why I've got it uh, basically facing this wall here because uh, I used to have it actually against uh, against the wall here with the window so I could look out. But then you've got the bedroom uh, and my bed at the background, which isn't as uh, professional looking. So I've moved it over here, um, and as you can see, so. When I have my webcam on, all you can see is the chair, and then I've also got like a little table here, um, which you know is basically the background or the backdrop for when I go uh, join the live calls, or like I said, when I've got a potential client call on Skype or Zoom. And uh, like I said, I try and keep this as clean as possible and as professional looking as possible, so I stay as productive as possible. And in terms of staying productive, I do uh, two things. Number one is obviously time blocking. So I basically work in 90 minute time blocks or I use the Pomodoro technique, which is uh, 25 minutes of work followed by five minutes of uh, break and then another 25 minutes of work. I do that for four sessions and then I take a 20 minute break. This is called the Pomodoro technique and it's basically proven to uh, boost your productivity. Now, with that said, I only do that when I'm doing light work, admin work or anything like that. When I need to do deep work, I do it in work blocks of 90 minutes and I will put something on uh, on YouTube, for example, like binaural beats, uh, deep work, study music, or even just classical music, anything like that. Okay, so that is like tip number 2.1. Tip number 2.2 .2 is checking in at the same time every single day. So it's so tempting if you work from home, especially if the desk is right by the bed. It's so tempting to sleep in for an extra hour, lie in bed or work from your bed with your laptop. And yes, that is possible, but no, it won't be as productive and you probably will not get as much done as you would if you add like a dedicated work time. So for example, nine to five, but then from your own home. So what I do is I basically get up at the same time every single day, which is half past six and then half past seven um, on weekends. I've tried the half past five, I've tried the 6 a.m. I've even tried working, uh, like basically getting up at eight. For me, half past six is the sweet spot. I am productive. I am, um, like I said, I get a lot done, but I'm not tired or I don't need a nap or anything like that. Um, in the middle of the day, what I used to actually need if uh, I got up at half past five. And one of the ways that I actually help myself get up uh, fairly early and, you know, basically make myself get up is uh, basically twofold. I have got a wake up light over here, which um, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you guys will recognize. And basically what this will do is um, it will basically shine up, bright up 
um, you know, half an hour before I need to actually get up. And it basically uh, simulates the actual sunrise. And then the second thing I actually do to make sure that I get up is use a free app called Alarmy, which is an app that um, what you need to do to turn the alarm off is scan a barcode. And I've got two barcodes. Um, if I am productive and I you know, consistently get up at the same time without any issues, then I basically use this barcode. As you can see, it's uh, a money box. And um, as you can see, I've just stuck a barcode on it. As you can see, it's still flipped from this morning. But basically what I do is I scan that barcode and that will switch off the alarm. If I notice that I'm slacking or it's, I switch it off and go back to bed, then I'll use a barcode uh, that I've stuck on my coffee machine uh, downstairs. So that is uh, like another little tip to make sure that you get up is use something that forces you to get up because there's no external factors, no more um, forcing you to get up because you don't need to commute. You don't need uh, to answer to a boss. You, you are your own boss. Uh, this is for those that are working from home full time. Obviously, you know, if you do have a boss and you need to check in at a certain time, then you do have that external fact that you will get up. But for those that don't or no longer have that, then obviously this is a great way of making sure that you do get up at the same time every single day, okay? So we've basically talked about the dedicated workspace. I've talked about the work blocks. I've talked about uh, like basically checking in at the same time. I've talked about uh, deep work. And another tip is to eliminate distractions. So as you can see here, Desk is clean, Every, you know, there's literally nothing else in my room besides a bed and uh, basically my bookshelf. I've eliminated all distractions. There is no DVD player, if people still use those. Uh, there is no PlayStation, there is no Xbox. There's, there's nothing like that. Literally nothing that can distract me from my work. You know, it's literally the most boring room in the world. To be fair, I like it this way, but other than that, there's nothing that can distract me. All I can do in this room besides sleep is work and that is the way I like it. And that is the way I basically use my room to eliminate distractions. Even the bookshelf, you know, it's literally just all business books and self-improvement books. There's no fiction, nothing, you know, no Harry Potter or anything like that because I don't want that distraction in my room, okay? So eliminate distractions as much as possible. And then for my last tip before we wrap up this video, because you're working from home, you're probably seated for a very long time. Like I said, uh, I'm in that seat for probably more than 18 hours a day, I think, something like that. Um, and what I try and do is I try and get in a lot of movement. So usually I go to the gym Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Obviously now with COVID-19, that is no longer the case. So what I do is I do home workouts, but I also go for walks. Every single morning, as soon as I wake up, I'll have a cup of coffee and then I'll go for a morning walk just to wake up, just to get some fresh air, just to feel like, you know, you're out of the house for a very, you know, for a little bit. And obviously, you know, to keep that movement going, to basically burn some calories, keep that metabolism going and uh, just feel better about your day. Otherwise, you will become a sort of sloth, a recluse, and literally all you'll do is be in the bedroom and you'll be like that meme where you can see, you know, someone goes to bed, goes to work, goes to bed, goes to work. And that is something that we obviously want to prevent. So, like I said, you know, probably you guys are now forced to live the laptop lifestyle to work from home. But if this is something that you actually enjoy and you want to do full time, I do have my own coaching business where I basically teach you guys on how to start your own social media marketing agency, how to get your clients and be able to live that laptop lifestyle. You know, obviously apart from the, the corona and everything that is going on to actually live the laptop lifestyle and be able to work from your laptop regardless of which, which city, place or country you are in. If that sounds interesting to you and if that is something that you would like to uh, you know, embark upon and actually start that journey, like I said, I will take you on as a personal client and help you get those results, help you get that first client and basically help you start your own social media agency that will be linked in the description box down below. At the time of recording this, I also have a payment plan for that. So basically you pay a small monthly subscription and you will get access to me personally via WhatsApp. You'll get access to the Mastermind Facebook group, the Mastermind WhatsApp group, access to my Lifestyle Design Mastery course and also access to the weekly live sessions that I, ha you know, I have literally here as well. Uh, where I basically answer your questions and we can share screens and basically, you know, work on your projects as well as mine and basically, you know, I'll share some more value there. You'll get access to everything, like I said, um, for a small monthly subscription, but from April 1st, that will no longer be the case. I will only be taking on a few more clients, uh, coaching students slash clients, um, and you will need to pay a small or basically a upfront fee. So the entire fee we paid upfront and then you'll get my coaching for a year so if you're thinking about it might as well take the payment plan uh, so you don't need to pay it all up front for those of you that are watching this 
after April 1st, my apologies, that is no longer the case. You will need to pay it up front, but it will still be worth it nevertheless, because if you land your first client in the first month, you've literally have paid back um, you know, everything that you invested into the coaching, and you know, you'll have that knowledge forever. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Like this video if you've got something out of it. Comment down below if you wanna see more work from home type information or videos. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.